Well, it's difficult. I mean, the, the, the impact on the facade, the lamps, is, is, uh, is significant, but uh, still is not compared to what could have happened if this takes place in a different moment, during the day, let's say midday. As we said from the beginning, our people are safe. We do have a protocol in, on those circumstances, and we have a system to protect our, our, our diplomats. But no doubt that, that has a psychological effect on, on people, the families uh, living in Cuba. You cannot imagine in the year 2020 that you will have someone in front of an embassy, Washington DC, and a full round of, uh, I mean, 30 rounds of uh, AK-47, simply. No, we haven't received any information. We have been insistent with the local authorities uh, uh, on that particular uh, subject. Do, do, do you know about his motivation? Uh, as I said before, we have many individuals and groups in the United States, as we speak, who in the past were involved in terrorist uh, activities. Uh, they are now. The, the American authorities, they know them very well. And of course, we would like to see if by some means he is linked to one of those uh, persons. When you have a rapprochement, it never happens. These days, uh, you will see statements from this administration, this State Department against Cuba. As we speak, we have seen messages uh, talking nastily about uh, Cuban medical brigades in different countries. They don't realize that we are all fighting a pandemic these days, but they, every single day, they have a message, hostile message uh, against, Cuba, against Cuba. It's a period of time, basically last year, when the embargo against Cuba was reinforced. It has been taken several measures, travel being cut, uh, financial transaction being, being tracked, uh, uh, fighting, uh, dealing with companies that bring oil to Cuba. When all of that is in place and uh, the rhetoric is so harsh, then th those people feel encouraged to, to continue with uh, the terrorist acts because you, you cannot have a different name for this. In this particular case, we have a terrorist act against the Cuban embassy in Washington, D.C. It's another opportunity to, to cooperate, to exchange information. Uh, ho hopefully it will happen. Hopefully it will be clarified. And now, if, uh, if and when he goes to the trial and what's the conviction, is up to your system. But we have, every one of us, we have to do whatever it is that are in our capacity to avoid that this could happen again here or anywhere else.